Okay, in this great question, we're going to really look at all the different basic skills you'll be covering in a geometry class. And we're told here that we have a secant PRS. That's a line that crosses your circle twice, right? So I, I think, you know, as I tell you these things, it's just like you would read it on an exam in, or on a problem you're solving where when you're reading through it or listening to it, label things. So PRS is a secant. It intersects the circle in two places. We're also told that this line over here, VTW, is a tangent. It intersects a circle then at one place. PUT, we're told, is also a secant, right? So it intersects a circle twice. We have chords US that intersect and RT that intersect at Q, so intersecting chords. And we're given these measurements here. The measurement of RS, the arc, you see that symbol, that curved symbol is arc. For RS, that's this arc right here, is 120. The measurement of the arc UT is 80. So that's over here. And the measurement of angle TRS is 50. So this angle right here is 50 degrees. So if we know this angle right here, this is an inscribed angle, an angle formed by one, two chords. It's half the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So this arc over here is 100. The full circle would have a 360 degree measure of an arc. We already have 120 here, plus another 100 is 220, plus 80 is 300, so this arc right here is, is 60 degrees, and that's our first answer. The measurement of arc UR is 60 degrees. Now I want to find the measurement of angle SUT, that's this angle right here. Well this angle is also an inscribed angle because it's an angle formed by one, right, two chords. That's like a drawing with two chords there. And it's half the measure of the arc it intercepts, which in this case is the arc ST, which is a measure of 100. So it's half of that, or 50. So it's we're just working backwards. Um, before we wrote the measure of the arc from the angle. Now we measure right, the measure of the angle from the arc here. Now I want to find the measure of angle P. Well, P is a point um, at the intersection of two secants. And I noticed that this angle, if we look uh, over here, we cross one, two arcs. And the measure of that angle, when it crosses those two arcs, is equal to one half the difference of the larger arc, which is 100, minus the smaller arc, which is 60. So it's a half of 100 minus 60, which is a half of 40 or 20. That's the measurement of the angle right here. This is 20 degrees. Now I want to find the measurement of RQS. Where is that? Okay, so RQS is right here. Right? And it looks like a right angle, but um, right, but how how can we be sure of that, right? We want to find the measurement of, of RQS. Well, the measurement of that angle is equal to one half of the sum of the arcs that it intercepts. So that's this arc right here, 120, and this arc right here, which is 80. So it's half of 120, right, plus 80. So that's half of 200, or half of 200 is 100 degrees, very close to 90. Not exactly a right angle. Of course, if that's this angle over here, we get the same thing. These angles over here, right, this one, which is TQS, they don't ask it, but that would be 80 degrees, right? Because that would be supplementary to the other angles um, here. So they might ask you that in another question. Just be ready for it. Last, we have PTV. And this one actually, you know, I, this one threw me off when I first read it. Um, I often forget that if we look at PTV, right, I have to remind myself, oh, yeah, that's also an inscribed angle, just different than the way we see it in most places, right? It's the intersection of a secant and a tangent. But it still intercepts this arc right here, right? And in this situation, it's still half of the arc that it intercepts. So it's, it's half of, right, 80. So that equals 40 degrees. All right, hope this helped.